Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas, and we're going to take a look at what sold this week on eBay. All right, so I, I rushed, I rushed before I filmed. So this is the little shaving brush, and here is the little old Foley chintz shaving cup. So I'm just going to wrap this in tons of bubble wrap and put a whole bunch of air bubbles in the bottom of the box. And there's our mini turkey. <laughs> we had a big turkey in it last week's video. And here's the brush separately. And now I'm just going to put paper all around. Let me slip my card in there before I forget. And uh, we're all papered up and we're good to go. Put a little fragile sticker on there. I like covering things with them. The next thing that's sold is this three-piece set. This uh, German luster wear set. So everything's wrapped separately. The containers and the lids are all separate. So we'll put a bunch of paper and a bunch of bubble wrap, as you already know. And we're all, um, we're good, I think. Bunch of paper. And this should be safe. And of course, our fragile sticker. Now, this next item is a palm organizer. I have a story to tell about this. Uh, I actually sourced this from my husband. He found it at his parents' house. We're going to put it in a box, and we're going to talk more about it later. And I'm just going to wrap that in some bubble wrap. Put my card in there, and now we're going to put some of the shipping saran around it. And there it is. And that bubble wrap helps it not move also. Now, because the box was a little too small, I'm going to go box in a bag for this one. So I'm going to throw it into one of my large purple poly mailers. And we're going to mail it just like that with the box inside. So it's totally safe. Next item we're pulling is actually one of the very first items I listed. So that took about three months. Don't worry, that was metal. That wasn't glass hitting. <laughs> But it is uh, this Cambridge uh, charlatan hand-painted, like a pink milk glass. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. All right, so we're going to wrap that up very nicely. So here it is, all wrapped up. Bubble wrap and then the shipping, like saran. And then I, I put my card under one of the layers of saran wrap. And now we'll get a box. All right, so we're all bubbled and papered, and I had to Frankenstein a box, and I messed up because I suck at it. So I'm going to be slipping another <laughs> top in here like this and then folding down. It's not going to be very pretty at all, but it's going to work. Okay, so I told you it was going to be ugly. So it is very ugly, but it's fine. It's going to work. For situations such as this, I use these stickers that my amazing friend Gina made me. And it's perfect for this one because ugly, but reused and eco. There we go. And of course, we're going to put some of our fragile stickers on there. We're fine. Now we're going to measure and weigh. So that's at, uh, that's going at the three pound rate, unfortunately. While that label is printing, we're going to get our next item, which is in my little DVD section. Okay, so this is a, I don't know, five or something. Yes, five DVD set seven hours long. I got this from the greatest estate sale of all time. Anyway, um, and I did say that there was a small tear and I took pictures of it in the shrink wrap of the item. So we are going to ship this in a box, media mail. I'm going to wrap it in a little bit of bubble wrap and put a little bit of paper on the sides and we'll be good to go. Okay. So we have that wrapped and then we're just going to put a little bit of paper all around. And there that is. And I did put my card on the case like before I wrapped it in bubble wrap so it's in there and I like to throw I just like decorating things so we're gonna put this little 
thank you for your purchase sticker. All right, let's get the label. We're done. Now, what's probably everybody's favorite part, let's talk cost of goods and what it sold for. So in this past week, just about, this is what we sold. So the Beatles DVD set was from the greatest estate sale of all time, which I got a huge bag of stuff for $30. So that sold for $21.69 plus free shipping. This, I believe I paid $6 for. It originally was for me, but then I changed my mind and listed it for sale. So that sold for $25.99 plus $15.40 shipping. And the canister set i believe i paid seven dollars for uh for all three pieces and it sold for 39.99 plus 14 12 shipping not sure if both those items went to subscribers because it does say thank you but if it did thank you for your support and this i got from the $120 private pick, although the brush was bought separately for $0.99, cents, um, and it sold for $26.99 plus $8.20 shipping. This had a bid on it, and then when time came and the four days passed, they didn't pay. I don't know why it says buyer canceled, because um, they didn't pay, and then I canceled it. So that would have been a good sale, but oh well. All right, now on to my husband's Palm Pilot that he found at his parents' house. He brings it to me, says, do you have any interest in selling this? I think it's worth like 10 bucks. I never even used it. I said, yeah, I'll sell it. So I listed it for $39.99 plus $9.40 shipping. And it sold at full asking price within 48 hours of listing. When I told my husband how much it sold for, he said, what? Yes. So that's the story with that one. Then uh, this is a little past the week that we're going to move on to now. And these, both these items were to subscribers. So thank you so much for your support. This Tara Studios Bluebird of Happiness. I did purchase it for a dollar um, and it sold for $22. It might have been is that what it sold for? I don't remember. I took a, a slightly lower offer on it. It was nothing. Uh, $22 plus free shipping on that. And this 1978 R. Dakin plush cheetah. This also went out to a subscriber for $12.99 plus $5.40 shipping. I believe I paid $2 for that. And originally I was also going to keep that. So thank you so much guys for your support. You hard rock. And uh, then we're moving on to last week. So we're good. We're done. So that's pretty much what sold this week. And don't forget, eBay takes 15 to 18% fees on all purchases, which were not included in these calculations. So that is this week's What Sold video. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And as long as things keep selling, I hope to keep making these videos. So until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.